All electrical work must be done by a qualified electrician. Only a qualified electrician using the personal protective equipment and following the procedures recommended in NFPA 70E should ever attempt service or repair of or near an energized area or component of the machine. Whenever maintenance is performed while the equipment is electrically energized, there is a potential electric arc flash hazard, referred to NFPA 70E for the personal protective equipment required when working with electrically energized components. Pneumatic and hydraulic components may move unexpectedly if not de-energized. Physically restrain any components capable of movement when working on or near those components. Note, the terms traveling end and carriage end are used interchangeably in the Cyber and Cyber AT saw documentation. When the carriage bounces back and forth past its set point, it is hunting for a location. When this happens, the first step is to go to the main menu, then touch the default box. Next, at the bottom of that screen, touch the button labeled Speed. Now, look at the vertical bar graph on the far right. If it is at 4%, touch the turtle at the bottom of the graph. This will lower the low speed. Take it down to 3% and try having the carriage find its position again. If it is still hunting, repeat step 1. The lowest you can set the low speed is 1%. If at 1% it is still hunting, we need to move on to step 2. Step 2 will be to check for mechanical issues. We will want to see if the carriage hunts for a position at a certain length. If it does, you need to check for gouges in the square drive shaft. If it is hunting at any length, then check to make sure that the carriage is square on the saw and that the in-feed horizontal conveyor movement is square. Also, make sure that the teeth on the spur gear attached to the length encoder are fully engaged in the rack gear and that the spur gear is tight on the encoder shaft. If all of the mechanical possibilities check out OK, then we need to move on to Step 3. In Step 3, we will need to change the motor starter. The logic for changing the starter is that it may be single phasing when it goes into the lower speed. If all the above fails, call the MyTech Customer Service Department at 1-800-523-3380. Listen for the correct option number as they may have changed.